In this video, we're going to break down the meta aka Facebook, software engineering, interview process, and interview questions. My name is Kevin Landucci. I've worked with dozens of candidates to get meta offers and negotiate better compensation packages at meta. Let's get into it. The most important point to understand about meta is speed. They have a incredibly high focus on speed. You can find this very clearly throughout their whole interview process, but you can find it most obvious in their tech screen. Their tech screen, they're going to ask you to solve five different coding problems. Five, not one with five different gates, like you might find a company like Google, five. And they only care about you getting to the results of each of those implementations. So if you could compare that to any other company, that is a ridiculous focus on speed and results. That is what to think about when you're interviewing at Meta. That's what they care about. And the results piece is because they're all about shipping their products quickly. They give good comp packages. This is known. Um, in terms of their recruiters, their recruiters are pretty uh, veteran compared to other FANG recruiters. They've got some of the more senior recruiters that you can find. So when you are negotiating with them, no matter what level you're going for, whether it's senior, staff, or above, uh, just remember that they're going to pay you based on where you live. And they're going to try to play tricks on you to get you to reveal information. The basic idea is don't share any information unless it helps. So when it comes to Meta, it is by far the most organized interview process in tech, period. Not even close. They train their interviewers more than any other FANG company. Every single interview question has been pre-approved, so no interviewers are going rogue and asking whatever they want. And they change their interview process all the time. So they just changed their model, we'll get into in a minute, where they deleted their boot camp option, which was something you got post-offer. Um, like Google, Facebook is going to down-level you if they think they can get away with it. And there are so many candidates that get downleveled, and there are so many candidates that don't deserve it. So just remember, if you're a super high-ranking engineer, if your presentation skills aren't where they need to be, Meta is going to think that they can put you at your level minus two or three sometimes, depending on the market. Okay, I already said it, but it's right on here. The best trained interviewers in FANG. I'm serious. So serious I said it twice. This one is also true. So they used to have a boot camp. Now they saw how Google was doing it and they got smart and they're like, let's do it even better. So what they do is you finish the interview process and then you go through team matching. And if you don't get matched with the team, you don't get an offer. If you do get matched with the team, you do get an offer. Really smart process. Everyone out there, never, ever feel bad about rescheduling an interview with Meta. There is no difference to them having a software engineer, regardless of level, join today or a couple months from now. So just remember, if you are not prepared, reschedule. Okay, you've heard it before, but I'm going to tell you why it's true. Meta is way more product focused and Google is way more engineering focused. From an engineering perspective, the reality is Meta is more likely to ship a feature that's good enough where Google will wait to ship until it has reached all of its standards. At Meta, it's called approving to release or approving because you have a release. Take this attitude into your technical sessions for your own sake. Write code, design systems with the attitude that I'm approving to release this as opposed to trying to make it be perfect and not actually finishing what you're supposed to finish in that round. Again, results focused. This is absolutely paramount of importance. If you do not time your coding practice, unless you're a former competitive programmer or something, there's literally no way that you could succeed in these rounds. Again, five problems in a tech screen, it's unheard of. So when you're doing your coding practice, set a timer and try to get your time down eventually until you can actually keep up with their standards. Check out our Facebook software engineer interview guide. We go through each step in the process from recruiter screen, tech screen, and onsite and tell you exactly what you need to do to pass those rounds. And if you want to ace all of your software engineering interviews, including the one at Meta, check out our software engineering interview prep course. We go over system design, we go over coding, we go over behavioral, and you can start for free at tryexponent.com. <laughs>